Now, with all these red flags, with all these problems, with everything we know that's going on along this border, that even those leaders of other country, from the president of Mexico and others, declaring that President Biden has created much of this, Speaker Pelosi just last week claimed that the United States is on a good path at the border. The question I asked the Speaker, if we're breaking all records, more fentanyl, terrorists, and more people illegally entering than we've seen in more than 20 years, if that's a good path, what's a bad path look like? Now, Vice President Harris, who President Biden appointed to oversee the border, has yet to actually travel to the border and has no plans to do so. My understanding in the Speaker's press conference, she gave you no plans as either of the date that she would travel to see the security of our nation. Now being notified that, yes, those on a terrorist watch list have been apprehended on our border and have been represent California like she does as well. That's where they found two of them from Yemen. Now, if the Democrats need a set of reality and some, some solutions, Republicans have here to offer them. Five easy things we can do. Finish the wall and deploy technology to the border. When I talk about finishing the wall, we've already paid for it. We're actually paying these contractors not, not to finish it. If you just look at El Paso, there was going to be 150 miles of wall built. They finished 133 miles of it. They stopped midnight January 20th told to stop. Now there's just openings for people to come instead of protecting the security. Fully reinstate the remain in Mexico policy. Even the president of Mexico himself understands what President Biden has done, calling, the, calling him the immigrant president based upon his removal and change and causing much of this problem. Maintain and robustly implement Title 42 authority. Require a COVID negative test before releasing any migrants. When I was in El Paso, we had just toured a new facility that we had built about a year ago, 98,000 square feet processing facility. They built it so large they thought they would never meet capacity. That day they met it that soon. Man, 120 agents were not able to protect the border. They were there. The children that are all put together never being tested for COVID. And that day that we were there, they was notified that they were sending 1,000 to Midland, 3,000 to Dallas, not notifying the mayor or others, and moving them into the communities, not being tested. Now, I don't believe Democrats are interested in solving the crisis their own policies have actually created. If President Biden had sent Vice President Harris in charge, the first thing you think she'd want to do is to go see the, where the problem lies. You believe that she'd want to solve it. There has been no legislation that changed. It was only the orders of the president himself. He can solve this problem very quickly. But this is more than a humanitarian problem. The number of times you see children crying left all alone. The agents themselves, who are mothers and fathers, told me a story of coming upon Three children, the age of one, three, and five. Nobody around them for miles, in tears. You just watched last week, a young child crying, coming up to an agent. I believe his age was around five, saying he did not want to be out there alone again for another night. Or a child being dropped over a 14-foot fence. When you would question and ask those who were sitting, you asked them, why did they come? They told us, because President Biden told them to. Much of this could be stopped. Those who are being harmed could be protected. And just as importantly, all those who live in America could be protected by making sure terrorists are not getting through our borders. Now, <clears throat> 